back in the garage, back back in the garage, in the garage, in the garage, back in the garage today, back in the garage, back in the garage today. What's up guys, back in the garage today showing you how to install the Rottweiler fuel dongles and delete the O2 sensors on your KTM adventure bike. So I had my fuel tank off when I went to install the fuel dongles because I was also doing other work to the bike. It might be possible to plug in the new fuel dongles without removing the tank. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to go ahead and link that video so you know how to do it. It is possible to pull out your O2 sensors and put in the block off plates, which you'll see you don't have to remove the tank for that. Uh, if you'd like to see the entire video, uh, about me swapping out for the Rottweiler airbox. I'll also link that up here. But if for some reason you just decide to get the fuel dongles, this video is for you because that's all I'm going to show you in this one. All right, guys, so as part of the Rottweiler Stage 3 kit, uh, it came with fuel dongles and also the little block off plates here. Uh, what this is going to do is help enrich in the air fuel mixture, especially at lower RPM, so it should be a little bit better throttle response and uh, just overall run a little bit better. So um, I'm going to show you how to put these on. Fairly straightforward. Now essentially what we're going to do is end up replacing the O2 sensors. We are going to replace them with these little block off plates. Now we could just leave them in there but it saves a little bit of weight and it just tidies things up. But first thing you want to do is find, you can start on either one, we're going to find the front one here and then we're going to trace the wiring harness back and figure out where it plugs in. Okay so if we trace this wire up, you see it plugs in right here. So we're actually going to unplug this. Now with it unplugged, what we want to do is fish it back down through the frame here. So what we're going to do is take one of these dongles and plug it in directly to here and that will fool the computer into thinking the O2 sensor is still hooked up. That's what the dongle looks like plugged in. All we're going to do is just kind of make sure it's tucked back inside the frame here. Now all we're going to do is throw a 17 millimeter wrench on this O2 sensor, get it loosened up, and spin it out of the exhaust. And here's the nasty old O2 sensor. You can hold on to this if you want. You can throw it away. I'll probably hold on to it. Um, who knows, you might, you know, these plugs or something may come in handy at a later date. Or maybe you ever want to put it back to stock, you'll still have your O2 sensor. But obviously we don't want to leave a hole in the exhaust that would be bad. So that's why we got these little, uh, bungs or plugs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it does have a uh, copper washer, so we're going to get that threaded into place and snugged up. To tighten this up, go grab your uh, standard set because I found a quarter inch actually fits this thing best. All right, so now we have one dongle installed and 102 sensor removed. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, there we go. Right back in there is our next O2 sensor. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to trace this wiring up and see where we need to unplug it. To make things a little easier, I went ahead and took off this little rubber hose clamp. We'll reuse this. Uh, there's also a zip tie right up here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and then replace it in a second, but it makes it a little easier to get this out. If you do cut the zip tie, just be very, very careful because your brake lines are there and you don't, <laughs> you don't want to cut into those. All right, so now we got a little bit more free play here. Now, if we look up here, it looks exactly like the plug from the other one, so we're going to undo this. Now, i got all this crap in the way. Uh, and then we're just going to plug in the dongle to this plug. All right, so we'll take dongle number two, plug into right there. Now we're just going to snap this back down into place. There's a spot there for it. There we go. Now we're just going to thread this back down through the frame. This was a little bit easier to snake through the frame. Now we're just going to get a 17 millimeter wrench down there on the O2 sensor and get it removed. And here's O2 sensor number two. Same deal. We're going to grab the uh, bung and plug it into place back there. All right, got the plug in there. The only thing I have left to do is replace the zip tie up here. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you install the Rottweiler fuel dongles and get rid of your O2 sensors on a KTM adventure bike. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you around. If you've got any questions about anything, let me know in the comments section below. And as always, talk to you again soon.